The sight and smell of smoldering mosquito coils is a mainstay of summer sensations. But is all that smoke really keeping away the swarms of mosquitoes and is breathing in the smoke worse than mosquito bites for our health? The burning of aromatic plant material to keep away swarms of mosquitoes is an integral part of many cultural traditions around the world. But it was until the early 1900s the distinctively shaped mosquito coil was born, thanks to Japanese entrepreneurs Tichiro and Yukiwaima and their Kitarasenk, mosquito killing incense. While traditional coils and sticks were made from a pyrethrum paste, Modern mosquito coils now mostly contain either pyrethroid insecticides or plant-derived substances such as citroella. They are cheap, portable and generally effective at reducing mosquito bites, but do they actually reduce the risks of mosquito-borne disease? Mosquito coils contain a mix of substances. Along with the products that deter mosquito biting, there are also products that hold the coil together and enable it to smolder slowly. Mosquito coils and their role in killing or repelling mosquitoes has been well studied. Despite differences between the chemical constituents of products and the ways in which they are tested, they will generally reduce the ability of mosquitoes to bite people. The problem is, less nuisance biting by mosquitoes is good but when there is a risk of disease, you need to stop all mosquito bites. Are mosquito coils doing enough? Mosquito-borne pathogens kill over half a million people a year and make hundreds of thousands of people sick. Malaria is the worst of these with recent reports from the World Health Organization suggesting the steady improvements in the burden of disease are slowing, and may even be getting worse. Dengue continues to have wide-ranging impacts. Australia has also seen record-breaking epidemics of Ross River virus disease in recent years. To prevent public health risk associated with mosquitoes, most people have to rely on covering up with long-sleeved shirts and long pants, sleeping under bed nets, applying topical insect repellents or burning mosquito coils. While there is generally consensus among experts mosquito coils may be useful in preventing mosquito-borne disease, proving mosquito-borne disease prevention is missing. A review of 15 previously published studies showed there's no evidence burning insecticide containing mosquito coils prevented malaria. Similar studies indicate there's no strong evidence that routine burning of mosquito coils prevents dengue risk either. There's growing concern about the adverse health impacts associated with the burning of mosquito coils and sticks indoors. The insecticide products used are generally considered safe but it's the particulate matter produced from a smoldering mosquito coil that poses the greatest risk. Is it correct to conclude burning one mosquito coil in a closed room amounts to smoking roughly 100 cigarettes as some have claimed? The link between smoking cigarettes and poor health outcomes is clear. What about mosquito coil smoke, especially if there's almost daily exposure, as there is in some countries?